After sitting for about two weeks while we were on vacation, V70 developed a bit of an issue with the rear wiper blade. Namely, it's a bit sluggish and reluctant to operate. It's quite humid out today, so there's a good chance I'll be rudely interrupted by a thunderstorm, but let's see how far I can get. As you can see, wiper blade doesn't really want to move, though I can move it relatively easily by hand. Suggests there's some sort of issue with the motor. If the rear wiper displayed these symptoms and then ceased functioning altogether, of course, it'd be a good idea to check the fuse before continuing. In this car, 1998 Volvo V70, it is number 33 labeled beam width adjustment and rear wiper washer. It's a 15 amp fuse and it's the blue one right here. It's a bit difficult to maneuver the camera in here, but there is the motor for the rear wiper. There's the gearbox behind this plate. Here's the linkage that goes up to the pivot of the wiper blade itself. Let's have a look at what it does with the cover off. Yeah, it's having some issues. All these pivots and joints look and feel a bit dry, so first thing I'll check is lubrication. So that's easy, you don't have to take anything apart. Some of this might be of help. Good news is, it was just some dry joints. Added a little bit of WD-40 as a light oil, and I think I've brought it back to life. Much better than before. If a little bit of lubrication had not brought life back to this wiper assembly, the next thing I would have started to check out was the motor and its gearbox have the wires exposed here, so if I needed to, I could tap in and measure current and voltage. It may require taking off this whole assembly as a spline shaft that goes to the wiper on the outside, so this entire frame with the motor can drop out and be unplugged. If taking the motor and gearbox and linkage off caused it to run at normal speed, I suspect some issue on the outside. Excessive friction in the bearings in here, or excessive friction of the wiper on the window. If the linkage still ran sluggishly once removed from the car, I would then disconnect the linkage from the motor and gearbox. If they ran fine, there would be some issue of excessive friction in the linkage. If the motor still were sluggish, there would be some issue with the failing motor or a problem with the gearbox, which would require further disassembly. If the motor still failed to maintain a proper speed when disconnected from its own gearbox, it would be time to suspect a failure in the motor's bearings or a breakdown in the windings. Another symptom of winding breakdown would be the motor drawing excessive amounts of current and overheating even when unloaded. <laughs> 